It's Tuesday. You're in my car. Oh, come on out in front of me, jerk face. First things first, I feel much better. I still have some pain, but I feel much better. So thank you all for your sweet, warm, get well wishes. Getting there. As you know, I have interests in martial arts. I have a black belt in Taekwondo. If you didn't know that, I do. My husband and I actually really like to watch Ultimate Fighting. I like UFC, I like MM, any kind of anime we watch. But we also watch Ultimate Fighter, which is a reality show. It's a competition for fighters to get a contract in the UFC. I was watching it and I was not excited about this season because one of my least favorite fighters, Brock Lesnar, was coaching and I think he's a big oaf. I like smart fighters and he's just kind of the. Who knew that I would be inspired by Brock Lesnar? Brock Lesnar's team did not win the first fight. He wanted to rally his team and he didn't want to have this just long string of losses and have people kind of get down on themselves and get down on the team. So he, t he, he used the phrase, any given Sunday. Any given Sunday, any team can beat any other team. I kind of morphed it in my head to any given Sunday, anyone can win. Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that your goals are, whatever it is that you strive to do. And the reason it struck a chord with me is because, you know, I have goals. I want to be a writer. I, I will be a writer. And I actually am working on something right now that I started and I need to jump back into. I will jump back into because any given Sunday, any given Sunday, for me, I think that why would anybody want to publish my book? Why would anybody care about what I'm writing about? Maybe uh, that day they'll get 30 other submissions that are way better than, you know what? Any given Sunday. Why not? Why not? Why can't I win? And if you do your best and if you be your best and you put it out there, I'm not saying you're going to win every time, but gosh, there's a quote that says, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. Why not take a shot and give myself a greater chance? It's not failure if you put yourself out there. I don't know if you've noticed, but like throughout the video and in other videos, hopefully you've noticed uh, that I correct myself a lot. And when I say I want to be a writer, I'll switch it to I will or I am going to or something that's more positive instead of saying, oh, I, you know, I hope I can do that. No, I, I'm going to do that or I can do that because changing your positive language can also change your mentality about what you're doing. It's not I should, I want to, I, it's I will, I can. You know, and think about the things that we say and how that can impact how you feel. And just changing something like that can change your mentality. And think about all the people who are on your team and you know, how can you make them more powerful to make your chances more powerful? Can, you know, if there's someone that's holding you back, if there's someone that's being really negative to you, can you talk to them and, and flip the switch? Or can you cut them out of your life? You know, I think that in order to have that perfect storm of positivity and of possibility you have to create your great your own environment you know it's getting rid of those barriers it's breaking through the freaking linebackers I don't know that's where I am today any any given Sunday any given Sunday you can be happy you can be healthy you can be positive any given Sunday you can be whatever it is you want to be any given Sunday you can win Put that up on your refrigerator any given Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. I just want you to be positive and know that you are possible. But any given Sunday, any given Sunday, you can have that, that bit of happiness that you want. You just got to make it happen. You just got to try. You just got to take the shot. Just take the shot. I love you. I'll talk to you next week.